So yeah, character building 101. I'm really bad at the character building process, mainly because I'm usually halfway through the first chapter when I realize that I need to stop and actually build a profile. Most of the time I draw from people that I know. Um, I'll mix in different idiosyncrasies of my friends, mix in a little pessimism, mix in a little narcissism until a character is really fully rounded. Once I have this idea in my head of how the character is, I'll write a little backstory. And not necessarily a backstory, more like a mini biography of who they are and that lists the different things that has happened to them over the course of their life. I mean, why would a strong, fierce antagonist decide to let the protagonist live? What combination of words would sink in so deeply into his or her brain that their chemical process would change? That their idea or their outlook would change from what they would normally view? And you would only know that if you knew what made them tick. I do this for all of my main characters. And I keep all of this information in one of these. And when it's all said and done, I usually have three or four of these. Except for my current novel, which I decided to just put it in a big one to begin with. I knew it was going to be a lot more complicated than my last book. So in the notebook that I write all this in, I usually do a one sheet page of all of the main or key points for that particular character. Like their age, their physical characteristics, any tics that they might have, um, or any gestures that they might do often. And you know, this really helps me to keep it all straight. And after this is all said and done, I usually get one of these. Find the picture on the internet? That's the easy part. But seriously, I try to find an image that represents the picture that I have in my head of my character. And the easiest way for me to do this is to use a, like a stock photography company. I mean, it's so wonderful. You can put in parameters like redhead, their age, their eye color, and then you can do ambiguous things like grunge or sophisticated, and it will pull up thousands of models and I will go through every single picture until I find a picture that represents that image that I have in my head of, of uh, my character as clearly as possible. The whole reason why I do this is because I can drop a project and come back to it in two months and recreate that character in my mind and continue right on with the project without missing a beat. So next week is not a writing week, but I am going to continue on with this little sideline, mainly because I want to expand a little bit more, and also because it's keeping me from my writer's block on my current novel. Writer's block sucks! And fellow nerds, I look forward to hearing how you create your characters.